Hi everyone, this is Avi from AF Math and Engineering. This is my dog here in the video. Today we are going to discuss a good topic. We are going to discuss some job interview questions for estimating positions. As you can see, estimating is a scientific method of approximating the cost of a project before starting the work. In the following video, we are going to have 10 questions, eight of them with answers, and the last two will be open questions, kind of something for you to think about on your own. Okay, let's see how many can you get. Question number one. Which of the following characteristics are required to become an estimator? You need to pick four out of six. You got 20 seconds. Read all your options. It's good judgment for sure. <laughs> Here I gave you one. Okay, so time is up. Well, obviously knowledge of construction procedures is important. Knowledge of EST software, there is no such thing as EST software, I made that one up. The cost of materials and labor and construction experience, which are kind of related to one another is obviously important. Also good judgment, as I stated before. The only thing that you don't really need is an engineering degree, which is not required. Let's get ready for the next one. In a good estimate, the actual cost of the proposed work after completion should not differ by more than x to y percent from its approximate cost estimate. What are those percents? And the answer is 5 to 10. So obviously it depends on the company and project, but if we don't get any unusual or unforeseen circumstances, five to 10%, that's usually the rule of thumb. Okay, let's get ready for the next one. What are the two main types of estimating methods? Okay, time is up. Hope you enjoyed the music. So we got rough cost estimate and detailed estimate. A rough cost estimate is when you do the estimation before any plans or drawings. That's why we call it rough. You don't have a lot of information. But on the other hand, detailed estimate is the opposite. You have all the information and now we need to carefully separate and calculate the cost, the costs of each item after the design is finalized. Okay, hope you got that one. So moving on to the next question. Overhead costs are considered an indirect cost or a direct cost. Okay, time is up. So overhead costs are considered indirect costs. Indirect costs are expenses that are not assigned directly for specific activities. 
And moving on to the next question, it will kind of give you an idea of what is and what isn't. Which cost is not considered overhead or indirect cost? When you're looking at this list, try to think what is direct. Okay, what is our direct cost, basically? Is it legal fees? Is it the temporary structures? And the answer is materials, which makes sense because materials will have a direct effect on the production cost. And that's why it will have an effect on the final cost of the finished good. Now, will quality control or legal fees will also have an effect on the cost? It will but the effect will be indirect because if you don't have the materials you can't even start the construction and you can't even apply for the permits and perform quality control tests get it question six what are the other two direct costs so if you remember the first one was material out of that list what are the other two? Okay, time is up. And the answer is labor and equipment. Materials, labor and equipment are considered the three main direct costs that we have in each project. Question number seven. You didn't think I'll let you off without a bit of math, huh? Simple question. Find the area, you got one minute. You got a square, triangle, and a rectangle. You got three geometrical shapes. You got one minute. You need to pull out your calculator and do it. If it's not an interview with a calculator, I think that they would still expect you to be able to solve these questions on a piece of paper it's all simple numbers it's all simple formulas it's really basic math as an estimator you're gonna make much harder calculation than this Okay, time is up. Now notice that I try to trick you guys with the units of measurement. The correct answer is meter square. Since we don't have our depth here, can't get the volume, so the answer is meter square. Question number eight. At the first page, there was a statement about estimating. What was the statement? And that's a question that sometimes employers give just to see if you are really focused, just to see if you really noticed what was discussed. And it's a good trick. <laughs> I hope you didn't fall into it. Okay, so which one was it? And the correct answer is approximating. Remember, estimating is not exact. It's almost never exact. That's why some people call it guesstimating. Okay, so the last two questions. Now, there is no correct answer. Number nine. How do you ensure the accuracy of your estimate? My three picks 
that I usually see that new estimators make mistakes with. One is attention to details. And you gotta always, always be with your full attention to the details. Two is to learn from your mistakes. When you make a mistake, you lost money. You can't repeat it twice. And the third one, which is kind of surprising, is site visit. For some reason, a lot of the estimators don't visit their sites, and then the contractors make a lot of money. So spend your time on a site visit. It's important. Might save your work. And number 10, what made you choose a career as an estimator? If you're watching this video and you're on your way to an interview, you better have an answer for that. So that's all the questions we had today. I hope we helped you a bit. I really like estimating. I think it's fun. It's not easy. It's a lot of time depressing, but it's fun. Thank you for staying with us until now. It was a bit of a long video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you're on your way to an interview, good luck.